This is New York, and these are the three airports of the city, John F. Kennedy, LaGuardia, and Newark Liberty International Airport. Technically Newark Liberty Airport is not in New York, it's actually in New Jersey. But Newark is a New York City airport, even though it's in a different state. And it's about the same distance from Manhattan as JFK, so it's easy to assume that flying into Newark is the same as flying into JFK. Newark Liberty International Airport opened as Newark Metropolitan Airport in 1928. It was built to be the first airport serving New York and was the busiest commercial airport in the world in the pre-war years. One year later, LaGuardia Airport opened in 1929, about six miles from Manhattan. At this time, it was a private airfield built at the site of a former amusement park close to the city. It became a commercial airport in 1939, with its location close to the city, cited as a prime reason at the time. After that, JFK opened in 1948 as New York International Airport. The main reason for its build was to decongest LaGuardia, as it was at its full capacity. This growth story is typical in most cities with multiple airports. This is because expanding existing airports is not easy, especially when significant expansion is sought. Building a new airport on open land is more effective. We have seen this happening recently with new airports in Istanbul, Beijing, and Dubai. JFK has now become the major entry point for international arrivals in the United States, and it is also the largest international air freight gateway in the nation by value of shipments. And not just the shipments are in massive numbers but also, passenger number is on a wave, with over 60 million passengers in 2019 and about 100 airlines from more than 50 countries operating flights to JFK. All three airports are maintained and operated by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Together, the three airports make up the largest airport system in the country. And now not even in the country, but all over the world surpassing London with around 12,000 flights flying in and out every week. Out of these three, JFK and EWRR International and LaGuardia is domestic with just one international route to Canada. Now it's not so rare to see several airports in a city. London, Tokyo, and Dallas all have more than one airport, but what's pretty rare is two international airports in the same city. Other cities have mostly two airports, out of which one is international and the other is domestic, but two international and one domestic is pretty rare, especially in America. So, why just they didn't build a single big airport and why even three airports are unable to handle the passengers? New York is the busiest and most populated city in America. In 2019 140 million passengers traveled through these three airports. In such a big city with this much population, consolidating all traffic at one airport is rarely an option. Having the choice of airport location makes sense with any large city. Having all airport traffic move in the same direction would inconvenience passengers and likely strain the transport infrastructure, and in a city like New York, which has the worst traffic in the country, this would create a big mess. Imagine 140 million passengers traveling in and out of the city to one airport and imagine how much parking space it would take to fit these people in the airport. By three different airports, the massive number of passengers is distributed and nobody has to worry about traffic. The existence of multiple airports also allows particular categories of service to be concentrated at a particular airport. For instance, one airport handles long-distance international flights while another handles domestic and regional flights, or in Istanbul's case, one airport is dedicated to cargo flights. In New York's case, LaGuardia is much closer to the city and handles smaller aircraft on shorter routes. JFK and Newark can handle larger aircraft and are better set up for large numbers of passengers, international arrivals, and transfers. London also has a similar setup with London City Airport, Gatwick, and Heathrow Airport. But, as with London, these three large airports are of course not the full story with New York airports. There are several smaller commercial airports serving different locations, including Long Island Mac Arthur Airport, Stewart International Airport, and Westchester County Airport. These are generally used for local traffic and have all seen commercial operations at different times. 
There is also a strong general aviation presence with many airports for private aircraft, including Republic Airport and Teterboro Airport. Though with all these other airports, the main remains the big three. But surprisingly even with three airports, they are unable to handle the passengers. The airports are attending double amount of people than they can. This is because the airports were not designed to handle this amount of passengers. And due to so many passengers, the airspace used by all three airports get extremely congested. Despite the limitation of flights per hour by the Federal Aviation Administration, they rank among the top five in the United States for delays. The airports have been continuously ranked the worst in the country, except Terminal 5 of JFK, which people have loved since it opened. LaGuardia is the most hated out of these three, and after that Newark. And hating the airports is absolutely fine, the airports have become old and are facing severe damage issues, especially LaGuardia. And that's why the council decided to do major renovations in JFK and EWR and total rebuilding in LaGuardia. In 2015 the Port Authority invested $4 billion for LaGuardia rebuilding. Basically, every terminal on the LaGuardia airport is being torn down to the ground with new facilities being built in its place. Few of the work has already been done. In mid-2021, LaGuardia opened the new Terminal C in place of the old with new facilities and a beautiful art program in partnership with the Queen's Museum. And the same is going on with other airports. Just in few years, you'll see the all-new New York airports with world-class facilities.